Avila Beach is a laid-back resort town on the central California coast that for more than 25 years has lived next door to a giant, the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant. It's been operating here in earthquake country since 1985 without any major problems. Until they find better sources for our power, we're going to have to live with it. But the scenes of damaged nuclear facilities in Japan are giving some here second thoughts. It's kind of like you want to get out of here a little sooner. Diablo Canyon is within about 60 miles of the San Andreas Fault and much closer to at least three smaller faults. One of them, the shoreline, is less than a mile away and was discovered just three years ago. Pacific Gas and Electric, which owns the plant, says it was built to withstand a 7.5 earthquake and none of the faults in the region is expected to produce anything bigger. But the Japanese also assumed their nuclear plants would hold up, says Viktor Galinsky, a former member of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. It does tell you that your assumptions about safety may be wrong, and I think we really need to go back and, uh, and take a look at our systems and make sure that our assumptions are still valid. California isn't the only part of the country that can have earthquakes. What geologists call seismic hotspots are scattered across the country. There are 104 commercial nuclear reactors in the U.S., including those operating in earthquake zones. And there are other natural hazards, too. In 1992, Hurricane Andrew knocked out power to the Turkey Point plant south of Miami for five days, but the plant survived. Nuclear power supporters point out that even the accident at Three Mile Island in 1979 did not result in the disaster first feared. And the newest generation of nuclear power plants is built to an even higher standard. And although Diablo Canyon here sits right on the coast, geologists say a tsunami as big as the one that hit Japan is unlikely here. Katie? John Blackstone. John, thank you.